Well, I'm taking a break from Transformers Cyberverse reviews for a moment. Since we've got a brand new update for you on Big Firebird Toys flagship figure, Nicey. Their version of the Autobot RC. In addition to a bunch of brand new CG images, we finally got price and release details. Yes, I know many of you have been eagerly awaiting this info. So without further ado, first the price. The final suggested retail price will be 540 yuan, which is roughly $75 US or just over $100 Canadian, which is pretty good. I honestly thought this figure would cost around 130 US. Now if you pre-order, you do get a little bit of a discount at 490 yuan instead, which converts to a little under 69 US, uh huh, 69, and a little over $91 Canadian. Unfortunately, the only way to get those prices at the moment is to pre-order from their Taobao page. And as far as I'm aware, it's extremely difficult, borderline impossible to order directly from Taobao if you're in the West. That is, without going through some kind of middleman service. Which you could do. You could middleman it. But I would expect other, more local retailers will be offering this figure soon. Shozy Store has already had pre-orders open for a while. And they ship to US, Canada, Europe, etc. But now, the Chosen Prime have just added pre-orders for Nicey as well. So hopefully we'll see other retailers like Big Bad Toy Store and TF Source join them soon. Although, their prices seem to be significantly higher than the original price. But I guess that's mostly due to the cost of importing, which has grown even more now with the US's trade war with China. But let's not get political here. I just hope that other big retailers start offering pre-orders too. If they sell stuff like this, I honestly don't see any reason why they wouldn't sell Big Firebirds and I see. I think any controversy surrounding this figure has cooled off by now. I think most people recognize it as a different, more anime style take on RC. I don't really see anyone who's still holding on to the idea of it being perverted or overly sexualized anymore. Heck, between writing this and recording this, I've discovered ages 3 and up now have pre-orders up too. So it's probably only a matter of time until the rest do as well. Sure, by the time this video goes up, they probably all will. Anyways, next up is the release date. Unfortunately, as much as I'd like it to, it doesn't come out tomorrow. The currently expected release date is sometime in April of next year. So we've got a good seven months to wait at least before we can expect the final product to be delivered. That is assuming it doesn't get pushed back, which does occasionally happen with third party toys. Not to jinx it or anything. And finally, I don't know if it's been officially specified anywhere, but Nicey will be 19 centimeters tall. That's about seven and a half inches for those of you still on the Imperial measurement scale. So she should fit in with your masterpiece collection fairly well. Now that's not quite all the Nicey news I've got for you, but you'll just have to wait until later in the video for that. First, we've got a set of three new images for Big Firebird's other line, the Magic Henshin Girl series. First up is a cute little police car robot girl. It looks like her arms form the back of the car, her legs the front, and her head the middle with the red and blue lights on them. She also comes with a little revolver, which even looks to have a holster in which you can place it. Not much else to say. Like I said before, she's very cute. She kind of reminds me of something out of the Brave series J-Decker. She seems like she would be quite at home with them. Or maybe something similar to Ty from Robots in Disguise, the original series. The only thing I don't get is the four illustrations of her head in the corner. It's obviously supposed to show something, maybe some part of the transformation? Or maybe it's an alternate head, for maybe if you want her to just have a police cherry light on her head instead of the full light bar. Next is another cute robot girl design. This one is a truck. That's not something you usually see in female Transformers. I love this design. It really reminds me of something out of Digimon with the way that her truck windows form goggles. And very Mega Man the way the overall shape of the helmet is. Not to mention the obvious Optimus Prime influences. I mean, how can you have a robot that transforms into a truck and not have it at least a little reminiscent of Optimus Prime? Which now makes me wonder, what would she look like in Optimus Prime colors? And finally, not really a new design, more so just a piece of fan art by the designer. Iceberg. But we've got this image of Big Firebird's red motor 
next to Mega Man ZX. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't ZX, Zero, and X merged together? And isn't he a boy? It's been a while since I've played those games, but hey, I'm not complaining. Heck, when I first played Mega Man X, I thought Zero was a girl, so honestly, I don't mind either way. I can see why they paired these two up. They do look alike. They both have similar helmets. They're both primarily red. They both have long ponytails. They both have swords, which in the artwork, they're holding each other's sword. Wait, does Red Motor come with a sword? I wasn't aware she had any kind of weapon before. I wonder if this is confirmation of a new feature, or maybe just something invented for the illustration. The sword hilt does look a lot like her helmet's ears, for lack of a better term. So who knows? And finally, that brings an end to our Magic Henshin Girl news, and back to Nicey. Now, like I mentioned earlier, I'm curious to see what their cute little truck robot girl would look like repainted like Optimus Prime. And then of course we had ZX next to Red Motor, which already looked really close in design. It wouldn't be hard to imagine Red Motor repainted as ZX. Which brings me to these CG images of Nicey repainted as the Overwatch character Widowmaker. Which, it kind of works. I've never played Overwatch, and I would totally buy this if Big Firebird did a repaint like this as a convention exclusive or something. Which, I feel like I should clarify, this is just the designer having fun. This does not mean that they're planning on producing this. It's just an idea, for now. But it's certainly very different from the usual Paragon Medics or Nightbirds, which now seem to be so obvious and almost expected from an RC or similar female robot mold. I'd love to put this with my animated Mario and Luigi and whatever this guy's name is. I could start a whole shelf of just Transformers that are video game homages. Now I can't help but wonder what other unexpected homages, particularly video game ones, could you make out of Big Firebird Nice? Maybe a Samus Aran from Metroid? Well, that's it for this latest Big Firebird Nice update. Let me know down in the comments if you plan on pre-ordering her now that we have proper price and release date information. And also let me know if you'd buy a Nice repainted as Widowmaker. And are there any other potential repaints of her you'd like to see? Who knows? Maybe we'll get them one day. For now, thank you so very much for watching. And I'll be back here next time with more Big Firebird news.